One of the major street food we have in Nigeria is Suya. So faves, let's infuse Suya into our rice today. It's a new week and very understandable what is happening in the economy of Nigeria at the moment. But I come bearing words of comfort from the Lord Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 6 from verse 25 says, Therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? If you read further, you see how Jesus cited some examples about how God feeds the birds of the air and how he clothes the lilies of the field. There was a question that says, don't you have more value than they? Which implies God sees and knows whatever we need at this point as individuals in this country and is able to provide. So let me speak to us. This is a time to watch out for each other, to be sincere in this country, not to be selfish. And selfishness here I mean on both sides, on the part of the giver and the receiver. You as a giver must be ready to give whenever you have the grace to do so. Don't say because you think someone has capacity to give you something and the person says no, means he or she doesn't like you or something. It just can mean that there are other pressing things or priority to them. Maybe God has not assigned the person to help you at that point. Be understanding and go back to the basis in Psalm 121 verse 1 and 2, which says, I will lift up my hands to the hills. From whence cometh my help, my help coming from the Lord, who hid me the heavens and the earth. That good thing that seems cast in your life is coming to be in abundance. God did it in Samaria in the Bible. He will do it again for us in our land. God bless you and God bless Nigeria.